everybody welcome welcome to birth of life prayer and intercessory ministry youtube instagram twitter uh, uh all over the place tiktok all over yes 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 welcome 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 come on in y'all come on in come on in let's do a little bit of q a or not q a but a little bit of talking this evening the lord has laid some things on my heart there are so many things going on right now in the life and lives excuse me of us believers chosen ones on the front line there are a lot of things warfares that are going on that it can be very very scary very 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 scary we have to be extremely extremely cautious of the things that are happening in and around us okay you need to watch your environment watch your environment i just want to praise god this evening and thank him for grace and mercy and the ability to get back on this platform to be able to speak wisdom knowledge uh, 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 and, 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 and encouragement to god's people is very imperative in this season uh the warfare is huge it's heavy and you, you, and I tend to we, I tend to ask God this, this is what really has led me into coming online this evening is that I asked God I said God I said why the jealousy why the hate why the fire why the the, 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 the bite biting why all of this why is it that when Paul said the very thing I want to do is the things that I, I found myself not doing Okay, that's a person that's a torn in my flesh, and I need you to remove that torn out of my flesh, Lord. I need you to remove that thing out of my way so that I won't sin against you, God. I need you to remove that. But the Lord is saying to us, because you got me, because you got you got Yeshua Amashiach, not me in life, but because you have the Father, the God Almighty, Jehovah Adonai, He said His grace is sufficient for your warfare. His grace is sufficient. Why not you? Why not the warfare? Why not the jealousy? Why not the hate? God said, I'm not going to use an empty vessel. I'm looking for vessels that are available to go on the field because we are soldiers. I'm looking for vessels that are willing to fight even though they are cursing you out. That's right. I'm looking for vessels that will stand up in the face of the enemy and say, here I am. You want to kill me? Better go ahead. But when I open up my mouth, fire. You, we, God is looking for vessels. Yes, yes, yes. He's looking for people, 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 people that will avail himself to him so that they can be of use oh my good god almighty let me tell you something if you're going to serve god just get ready to put on your entire armor get ready to to to, 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 to go go to battle get ready because your character will will, will 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 come into play people will judge you just because god called you <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you something. That was one reason why I told God. I said, Lord, you know what? I don't, don't give me title. I don't need title. I already know what I carry inside of me. They will judge you because they already sent from the enemy and they know who you are in the realm of the spirit. Let me tell you something. I had a dream just this evening. I had a dream before I could get up for work. And in the dream, this is the second time I've been having this dream. This is my second time. In the dream was a woman that appeared to me all in black. I was not afraid of this woman at all. I was actually laying in my bed reading my word when this thing appeared onto me and I just flinched. And I and this lady, I couldn't see her eyes. I could understand her voice. She spoke English. I could understand her well what she was saying to me. And I, I could recognize the voice. This person said to me, why have you come to disrupt, Ikabasa, to disrupt our kingdom? And I said to her, I said, the Lord God Almighty, whose name is Jehovah Jireh, whose name is Jehovah Adonai, the only God that is able to open up the sea for his people to pass, has called on me, yes, me, me, the nobody, me, the one, the insignificant one that people think I am, me, yes, me, God has called me, fortified me, equipped me, pour within me his word. And God has given me the tools that I need to come against your kingdom. I'm a kingdom disruptor. Tell somebody, I'm a kingdom disruptor. And when I said that to her and I told her, I said, and then I plead the blood against you and the kingdom of darkness. You will release and let go the people of God in the name of Jesus. She looked and, and disappeared right out of 
plain sight. I woke out of that dream. I was sweating, y'all. I had so much sweat <laughs> because I knew I was coming from a battlefield. I knew I was coming from warfare. What if in my dream, I had said to her, well, you're telling me, you're asking me a question that why have I come to be, to disrupt your kingdom? What if I have said, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm afraid. The devil is a lie. I'm not afraid of nothing. I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of him and me. The Bible says, who is him and who is man that ye should be afraid of? For they are like grass. The widow dry and they're gone. Who are these people that, that try to make themselves so huge and big and so significant that you ought to be afraid of them? Oh, no, 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 no. Not a child, a bona fide call, child of God, a chosen vessel, not so. We cannot be afraid. Because we know who's carrying us. We, 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 we understand the process of going through the fire and we understand the process why people are envious of us it's, it's not because of us it's, it ain't nothing about us that they got to envy it's because of the calling the anointing the power and the glory God said I'm not going to use an empty vessel I'm going to use a vessel that is willing and available to take up the pain to take up the, uh, the nonsense that the people will do to you to say whatever kind of thing they want to say to you that's why they will curse you up for the sake of who you are not because of you but for the sake of what you carry inside of you. Somebody understand this now. I've been threatened many times. Uh-huh. I've been persecuted many times by the very same people. Now I understand even the more deeper that the very same people that call themselves Christians, that Jesus Christ uh, 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 pretty much pulled himself into them, teaching them in the synagogue teaching them about his word and his father and they never ever understood but they became so envious of Jesus that they did not rest until they took him to the cross you see Jesus could have not he could have refused the cross come on somebody but he knew what he had to do that that was part of the process of him going through what he had to go through in order for him to conquer the head of the enemy and he did it by pouring his blood on that cross. He did it for you and for me. He did it not knowing that they were going to persecute us. He did it knowing they were going to talk about us. He did it knowing they were going to call us names. Are those the things that are going to stop you from serving Christ Jesus? Is that the thing that's going to stop you because they call you out of your name? Because they call you pastor this and pastor that? Because they say all manner of evil things against you? That thing should be the one to motivate you to Get on your knees and begin to seek the face of God like you never suck his face before. Ah, oh, where well, much is given, much is required. God said, I'm about to take you to a new place. I'm about to put you in a new dimension. And in order for me to do that, there are going to be some cast catastrophic things, a very eccentric thing. That will make your life very eccentric and it will cause you to want to throw in the tower. But God told me to tell you, don't throw in the tower, not yet. Let them talk. Let them gossip. Let them do what they have to do. Just know that God is walking with you. He's talking with you. Just know that everything else that they've done to you, God said, be still and know that I am God. That's all he wants you to do. Be still of the storm. Be still. Christians divided against Christians. Division in the house of God. There's no love at all. They pretend to love but there's no love. There's no love. That's why the, that's why the Bible says destruction is going to start where first in the house of God. You are going to see people dying left and right in the house of God. You are going to see them being killed like slaughter, like animals. Why? Because they are not by the truth of the living God. He sent us into this world as brethren to love each other. But there's too much hate in the church and you will find that many people don't want to go to church anymore. Now God is raising up a remnant, a remnant of kings and queens strong in him that no bodies, the ones with the no names, the one that had cast a, a, a castigate, the one that have said all kinds of evil things about you are this, you are that, you are that, and you are a pastor. Yes, I am a pastor. I'm called by God. I am 
anointed by the Holy Ghost to do what I do. That's to go into the camp of the enemy and disrupt it by the fire of God. I'm a disruptor. You tell somebody that's sitting beside you this Sunday morning. You tell somebody that's sitting beside you this Sunday evening, Sunday morning. Tell them, just click them on the, don't hit them too hard now because you know how they are. They will start judging you. Just say, listen, I'm a disruptor of the kingdom of darkness. That's why I was called. That's why my mother could not get me out, out of her womb because God said this one is going to declare, decree and declare over the lives of my people that the, the devil must let go. Enemies must scatter. The musketa, the musketa all over the place. And if they try to bulldoze you, if they try to do things to you, they will catch on fire. The words coming towards you, those negative words that they are sending towards you because why they're jealous of you, they envy you, they're scared of your anointing. They know that you carry something inside of you, and that thing that you carry inside of you is not of you, it's of God. That's what they don't understand. Oh, Shababa Saya Katabasa. That's why they don't understand, child of God. That's why they don't understand, beloved. Don't get mad when they talk about you. Don't get mad when they sit in the corners and begin to say all kinds of stuff about you. Don't you know that's the time God is elevating you? Jesus Christ was, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights up in the mountain without no food, no water, no nothing. Come on. He fasted. The son of the living God who fast 40 days and 40 nights and be tempted by Satan the devil. Who are we? <laughs> Christ said, they're going to call you every name in a book just like they did me. Then they call Jesus Christ a, 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 a bazooba. And the Lord said, how can the house divided by itself stand? If I am Satan and I'm fighting against Satan, then how can we stand? No, we can't. I'm the son of the living God. I don't have to prove that to you, God says. I am the son of the living God. Therefore, I'm here to fight for my people. But I won't bow to Bell. You carry something in you. I I'm telling you something. You carry something in you. And that thing is called the Shekinah glory of God. You carry power in you. And that thing is called authority. You carry it within you. And that's why the devil is afraid of you. The devil is afraid of you. And sometimes he makes it seem as though you are afraid of him. But he really is intimidated and afraid of you. Because there's something inside of you that's, that, that really separates you from the others. I'm, I'm not talking about religious folk that go to church Sunday morning. That go to church Wednesday, Tuesday morning. And then when they come back to look at you as if to say you are the big sinner in the world. Yeah, let me tell you. You think the only sin in the world is fornication? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me let now. I'm gonna bust the head of the enemy now. It's not fornication alone. My matter of fact, fornication is man, it's not the sin alone. Yes, don't do it. Please don't do it. Save yourself. Be celibate. Save yourself for the master's you. Save yourself for your husband. That's right. Save yourself. But the worst sin in the world is the sin of the spirit. Did he just talk about that? When your spirit mind is messed up with jealousy and envy with hate you carry hate in your heart and you call yourself a child of god but that's hate uh, how can two stand unless they agree if we don't agree we can't make it together i'm sorry i'm here to bust the bubbles of the uh, 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 of the kingdom of darkness today that's right Every evil manipulated spirit, jealous spirit. Why the why you you asking yourself? You're asking God why the fire, Lord? Why the, the the jealousy? Why the hate? That's because you carry something. I'm here to let you know today that you, man of God, woman of God, child of God, you carry something inside of you. You carry something that is so big and so great. That thing is the power of the Holy Ghost. That thing is called the Shekinah glory of God. That's the thing that carries you back and forth when they want to kill you. Do you not know that some of them have said traps for you to even die but God kept you he God carried you through the storm God took you and he carried you some of them have even set traps because they were so envious of what God has placed inside of you they did not they did not understand what you had to go through in order to get where you are today you had to suffer some things you had to stay in a coma you had to go through some distressful times wilderness time you see they don't understand that if you want to walk in my shoes get ready to take the test that I had to go through come on somebody hallelujah
Glory to the King of, of, of Zion. Glory to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory. I don't care what to call me. I don't care what to say about me. I'm radical for Jesus Christ. That's who God has raised up. A radical soul for the kingdom of God to disrupt and destroy every dark forces against my life. I break the neck of the head, the serpent. I break the neck of the serpent by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and never naysayers that speak negatively about me. Their words will return to them and it will catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Watch out now. Watch out, watch out, watch out because uh, there are too many things happening. Watch out. Be on guard. Be on guard. I said be on guard. Be on guard. Be on guard because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God said, I've come to give you life and life for more abundantly. Like on the book of John, more abundantly. So if God, Jesus Christ, has come to give me life and life more abundantly, why are you worrying about petty things? Come on, somebody. Why are you worrying about somebody not liking you? Why are you worrying about somebody talking about you? I know what's inside of me. I know who I am. Therefore, you can talk all you you want tell somebody it's not gonna move me you better look into your skeleton into your closet before you begin to call on other people God's children names because God don't play when it comes to his anointed ones he does not play and I keep saying this you will see many in the pulpits falling down many in the churches the churches are going they are going to suffer some serious persecution there's a separation of the sheep and the goats right now God is separating us and many of them have settled they have sold their soul to the devil because they want what they want they don't want what God wants for them they're not willing to suffer with Christ they're not willing to pay the price that Jesus Christ had to pay on the cross. They're not willing to go through anything, but they are willing to provide to talk about their own brothers and sisters, to wash them down the ground, to say all kind of evil things against them. And God in heaven is going to be the one to judge them. Watch out. Destruction starts within the church. You ain't saying nothing yet. And we're there crying. Oh, they die in the church. They die. You ain't saying nothing yet. Disobedience in the church of God will fall. They will fall. This is why God is raising a remnant that don't they don't have no tap on our no taps is on our mouths anymore. God told us to speak boldly, and if we don't speak, He will use somebody else to speak against us. That's what I was told. That's what God, the Lord told me. I've called you out of the marital clay, I allow you to live in the womb, in the, in the womb of a woman that wanted to abort you. I allowed you to live and I named you life. Speak, life, speak. And I shall speak, so, so uh, uh, thus says my Lord. I shall speak. Destruction begins in the house of God. I'm a disruptor. <laughs> the Lord has come to disrupt places, situation, environment. When I enter in that, it won't be the same anymore. When you enter in there, it won't be the same anymore because you carry glory. You're a glory carrier. You have the DNA of God inside of you. Who told you they can mess with you? They can do whatever they want to do. They're going to have to bow down in submission to his glory. Come on, somebody. To his glory. Tell somebody to his glory. To his glory. Not to me, to his glory. So, let me encourage you this evening. The dream that I had was a very plain and clear dream. Envy, jealousy, everything is, I know is around me. But they can't touch you. They can't touch me, they can't touch you. Why? Because you're carrying glory inside of you. And God has called you to be a disruptor of the kingdom of darkness. And you go ahead and do that with the hands of God around you. That's right. The hands of God around you, protecting you, caring for you, and saving you. May God bless you guys so much. I love y'all. You guys know I love you so much. YouTube, I love you guys. Instagram, love you guys. Birth of Life family, I love you guys. And you guys know I'm just a radical for Christ. I'm not one of these preachers that would just sit there and be saying, hey, itty bitty, tushu, and I'm very imperfect. If, if anybody ever come to you and tell you, oh, aren't you a pastor? I say, yes, I'm a pastor. And a pastor that has a heart of, 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 of God. And a pastor that don't take nonsense 
say that to them because the church is so religious they feel like because god has a calling on your life that you are not allowed to do anything that should just treat you any kind of way no you are not a doormat you are not going to lay your pearls before swine for them to walk all over it no you're going to have to take up the authority that god has given you and speak forth in the name of jesus listen i got to go y'all you guys be blessed in the lord May the Lord bless you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord always be with you in everything that you do. Listen, you are living for purpose and destiny. And most of all, you are a disruptor. <laughs> Wherever you go, they're going to have to talk. Because the anointing that's upon your life, the anointing that's upon my life, is too heavy for us to carry alone. We are carrying it to destroy the works of darkness. To destroy the, the, the unfruitful works of, of, of the enemy, Satan, the devil. So, be encourage in the lord i love you guys so much mm, breath of life i love you guys so much instagram youtube i want to thank you guys so much for being such a great listener to, 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 to this broadcast and thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing the gospel of jesus christ and listen god did not call the perfect ones he always called the nobodies that's us and make us into somebodies love you so much be blessed Bye for now.